Hey everyone, HBO put out a documentary called Swiped, Hooking Up in the Digital Age. It's all about hookup culture and dating due to the apps. And they had the Bumble CEO on there, Whitney Wolf Heard. And she made some pretty interesting comments that I wanted to go over. So she was also one of the co-founders of Tinder, but she left and eventually founded Bumble. So she wanted to talk about what made Bumble different from Tinder. So with Bumble, as some of you may know already, women have to send the message first. And she asked, well, why would we have this? She said, because women's, their voice matters. They have the right to go after what they want and they have a voice. Now, I think all those things are true and all those things are great, but that's not really what Bumble's main benefit is. So on these apps, women generally have more matches than men do. So because women are so much more selective than men, women tend to be much more successful when they do choose to match with a guy. And so they have much more matches than men do. There's also been some studies that show on dating apps that there is a significantly more amount of men than women on these apps that exacerbates this difference even further. Now, when you have more options with anything in life, making a decision becomes a lot harder. It's like a paralysis by analysis. I'm sure you might've been to a restaurant and then if it had a long list of options, it actually gets pretty hard to choose one. So the same thing applies for matches as well. Now Bumble's other main feature, which she didn't really get into in the, in the movie, was that a woman has 24 hours to send her first message or the match is lost. So now unlike Tinder, a woman has to engage with her match if she wants to keep it. Even if all it is is just sending like that first message, just that, just that quick hi. Although kudos to all the women who do actually check out a guy's profile and will write something that's relevant to him. Now as opposed to Tinder, even after she gets the match, she can just keep swiping and getting more and more matches. On the woman's side, there isn't as much asked there isn't really anything asked of her to do because the expectation is that it's the guy who would be sending that first message. Now she also says that by having women send the first message, it takes a lot of pressure off the guy. And I agree 100% with that. A lot of guys stress about trying to send that perfect opener so they don't get rejected. Like I mentioned earlier, women have a lot of matches. so. You know, for a guy, it's very competitive. And I think that is what leads to some of these like crazy, super sexually aggressive messages. Cause the guy's like, well, if I send something normal, I might just blend in with all the other guys she's matched with. So let me just swing for the fences and send something just super inappropriate. And at least by doing that, I'll stand out. Now shortly after they had a Whitney's part in the movie, they brought out another woman who says that she disagrees with this notion that Bumble fixes the problem that Tinder has. Now I think she's kind of misunderstanding what Bumble's trying to do. So she was complaining that it, Bumble actually makes things easier for guys because now they don't have to send the first messages on the woman. So with that, yes, I do agree. It does put a bit more work on women as, as opposed to Tinder. However, I actually think that is what's needed rather than getting more matches. Bumble at least puts that little bit of incentive for you to to, to engage with, with your match. Not that a girl on Bumble couldn't just keep getting more matches, but then that's even more first messages she would have to send and more conversations she's gonna have to keep track of. So in conclusion, I don't think Bumble is perfect, but even from my own personal experience, I've had much better success on Bumble than on Tinder. Also this documentary itself, Swiped, it's pretty interesting, so I recommend checking it out if this, if this subject interests you at all. I definitely feel like the focus is on just women rather than how it's like for men as well. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Take care.